Okay, so, uh... Didn't think about this before. <laughs> before starting the stream. Uh... I'm gonna check that the... <laughs> Stream layout's okay for this thing, and it is. Well, there's like borders on the sides of. There's like borders on the side. I can show it actually. Yeah, see, there's like borders on the side. Wait, oh, I can crop that out, and it looks fine. So, yeah, cool. Didn't need to change anything. It just looks fine. I didn't mean to sort yet. No. <laughs> Hold on. Just gonna... You know, I, I didn't really have to eject that, but, uh... I mean... I'm sorting anyway, so, uh... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Haven't played... One of these Sonic games in, like... Two months, almost. I was meaning to. But, stuff happens. So, yeah. Although I have to check if it's, that everything's okay with the, with the stream. Usually do this before I do my little greeting thing, but uh, sometimes you just gotta mix things up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm saying things at this point. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, definitely live. And, I'm gonna assume audio levels are okay. Sega. Uh, maybe they are. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So basically, just I uh, just have to turn it down a little. I think. Where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, I, I I didn't do that yet. Play. Ah. Uh, wow, this looks awful. But at least the audio is fine now, I think. Uh, yeah, sounds fine. Wait, 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 wait. I have to listen to this music. No, it left! <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, no, I'm just gonna watch the demo again. Because, like, I swear, <laughs> the music sounded like a SIVA gunner rip. No. Okay, so... Just reset. Alright, we might be playing the game today. I don't know. Okay, the two-player versus music. I need to know. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. This sounds like a like it would be a Siva gunner rip. Like this music sounds weirdly like. I think that one Drake song is just like. <laughs> like ever since I left the city, you. That one. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm dumb. It's okay. Alright, I think we're good to actually play the game this time. Just gotta get that that dumb out of my system. Uh, so basically, uh, I've only played Sonic 2, like, once. Maybe twice. <laughs> I think it was twice, actually. I, I, like, barely know this game, I'll be honest. Uh, like, it's really good. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't really know it, like, the back of my hand, like some people do. Uh, significantly better than the first game, at least. You can spin dash now. And it's like zoom. I go zoom. I... If you stand still. There we go. And also, uh... Got tails. So that's pretty neat. You can, like... Fly. And stuff. Y y you hold up and press A. But Tails doesn't want to, so I guess we aren't. Did they have that in Sonic 3? I could have sworn there was two. Maybe I was doing it wrong, I don't know. Uh, also, hold on. Uh, here's this. I'm just gonna save state for this. Uh, because the special stages in this game are awful. Like, you get 20, you get 50 rings, go to a checkpoint, and then you go into the little shiny thing, and then you have a chance at a Chaos Emerald, and that's how it works. It's better than the first game, but, like, these are awful. These are straight up awful. I hate them. I doubt I'll get all the Chaos Emeralds. Because, like, it, it's stupid. It's really stupid. Like, look at that. I, you can just barely see, You can't even really see them. And, like, if you hit the bombs, you just lose rings and, like... I don't know. It feels like you have to memorize it more than anything else. And it's dumb. Like, it'd be one thing if they just gave you as many tries if you just entered it, but... They don't. Like, if you fail it, you have to, like, collect 50 rings again and then do it again. Like, this first stage is fine. But, like... I want to say it's, like, the fourth one where it's like, no, this is not worth it in the slightest. Uh, because this game doesn't introduce Super Sonic, but if you get all seven Chaos Emeralds, you can be super. And then you have invincibility and stuff. So yeah, uh, now I don't have rings, and I have to collect to collect them again. Uh, that's not the dumb part, it's redoing it, because it's a dumb special stage, and it was never good. And for some reason, they just keep bringing it back. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what possessed them to do this, they just did. Although, uh, they were... Nice, and like, uh, there's enough checkpoints in Green Hill, not Green Hill, Emerald Hill, for you to like get all of them before you even leave the area, which is really cool, but like, I'm not good enough to do that. <laughs> so maybe we'll get the Chaos Emeralds, maybe we won't, I don't know. I don't think it really changes anything either. Oh, I just remembered I have to... Tails. I require help. Yeah, it's not in this game. Cool. At least I don't think it is. So yeah, Tails is just gonna... Follow us around. He's like player two, basically. Uh, you can play without him. But like... Eh. I don't know. Feels neat having him. Uh, if he dies, it doesn't, uh, 
take away one of your lives, so... Very useful. That's a pit. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Invincible though, so I don't die. That's nice. Extremely nice. Oh my god, can I just kill the boss with my invincibility? Or is it just gonna run out? I got three hits. Good enough. Ah, uh, so yeah, that was Emerald Hill. There's only two acts. Which is a lot nicer, actually. Uh, cause like, if you don't like a level, it just goes on to three, and it's like, oh, can this please be over? And then uh, this is the part where, uh, they continue to bring back. It's like, oh, remember how, was in, how this was in Generations? Uh, what if we also did that in Mania? And Forces. And probably the next 2D Sonic game. Because it's like, it's it's just like Green Hill, you know? I don't know, like... I don't know, it's really dumb, because like... Uh, like the first time they brought back Sonic... T Sonic 2 Best 2D Sonic. Uh... You misspelled Sonic 3. But like... Uh, it's really annoying, because like, Green Hill... Uh, it, when they brought it back the first time, it was really cool. Uh, and Sonic Adventure 2. And, like, especially since there was just... Literally just Green Hill, but, like... Uh, did they keep the pixelated textures? I think they did. They might not have. I don't know. First time they did it, it was really cool. Uh... Second time they did it, I think it was in Generations. And, like, it was the anniversary game, that was the whole game's shtick. So, it made sense. Uh, no, Sonic 3 is the best. Uh, th this is not an argument. It is... It is fact. Uh, like... Also, that's a joke. Like whatever you want. Like whatever you want, I should say. Uh, so yeah, when they, like, brought it back with Generations, because that was the whole game's shtick. Like, that was fine. I mean, Mania, ki kinda fine. Like, I'm okay with it, because it's, like... Like, right at the beginning, we can just get it over with. Uh, Chemical Plant, that never, like, brought back, so it was fine there. And then, gen and then literally, same year, Force was just like, hey, what if we did that again? And then it's just like, please stop. Like, the theming of it's, like, different and all, so that's cool. But, it, like, no, why are we still here? I got an extra life, so that's cool. Look at this. Oh no, did I miss the port where the camera just can't keep up with you? Because that's really cool. I I might have missed it, I don't know. Or I, like I wasn't paying attention or something. I don't remember what act is in. I think it only happens like once, maybe twice, if you're like good. Uh, and also, when I said Sonic 3 was the best 2D Sonic game, uh, I lied, Mania is. <laughs> uh, although, I should say Sonic 3 is the best completely original 2D Sonic game, I should say. Oh boy, another special stage. Let's go. Just gonna... Save again. Like, really, like, 
If I fail a special stage, I'm gonna reload a save. I don't care. I have no shame. I'm sure if I was crazy enough and willing enough, I could do it. I could, like, do all of them without save states, but, uh... That's annoying. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, uh, yes. Literally just talking about how this special stage sucks and I'm using save states. Oh, yeah. And, like, if Tails gets hit, uh, he loses whatever rings he's he's caught, so, yeah, isn't that fun? Uh, also, looking at chat is a bad idea. It's like, oh, I don't have enough rings, how about you don't do that. Oh, thank you for the host. Uh, I will get through this eventually, probably. Like, again, this is, like, memorization more than anything else. Which is really annoying for what this is. Like, Tails, why? Are you incapable of jumping? Uh, and it's the worst when, like, Tails gets hit, well, hit at the last second, and then you can't move on because of it. It's like, it, it, like, at that point, it's just straight up not even your fault, and it's dumb. Oh, uh, no. Hey, rings, please. Like, you couldn't even see that, those bombs right there. And I just barely got it, cool. Only took two tries. <laughs> That's fine. I don't even remember where I was in the stage. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's another annoying thing. Like, uh, you go through the you go through the special stage, and you're just like, wait, where was I? Oh yeah, Super Sonic's awesome, but like, getting him is a pain in the ass. Like, I love the idea of Super Sonic, but we like do this annoying thing. Oh, there it is. Camera can barely keep up. Isn't that cool? The power of blast processing. So, like, you do, like, this really annoying thing, and then, like, you basically become God. Like, it's just invincibility, and now he can jump higher. And go faster. Uh, like, I love that as a concept, but, like... I don't know, in practice, I just said I'm not caring that much. Oh yeah, I, I should explain that. Blast processing, uh, literally a marketing ploy. It didn't mean anything. I just skipped a special stage, but that, whatever. I almost died. I did die. <laughs> uh, basically, pl blast pros blast processing. Uh, so like, for the Sega's marketing team, they just looked at the specs of the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And, like, uh, the Sega Genesis had a faster CPU than the Super Nintendo, so there's, like, the Sega Genesis has blast processing, which is why Sonic can go so fast, or something like that. Whatever 90s voice could be 90s, I don't, like, there was a sentence there, there was a sentence there, but I forgot about it. I, I. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore.
I'm almost getting a game over in Chemical Plant. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, uh, my opinion on this game doesn't even matter. And then, Sega was also like, Sega does what Nintendo don't. And like the blast processing thing, uh, like they technically weren't lying about it, but like, it wasn't, but it didn't really mean anything either. Did I just, okay, I almost died because the screen didn't scroll over. Hey, whatever. Oh, uh, one way that Sonic 2 is much better than the first game. Uh, this is the water level. Uh, but if you're good enough, you can just skip the water section, and you don't actually have to go into it. Uh, but if you're bad, like me, I probably will. Uh, but in hindsight, I'm, like, really glad that... Uh, Sega had such aggressive... Had such aggressive marketing in, like, the Genesis era. Uh, because basically, uh, at this point, Nintendo had a monopoly, more or less. Like, I mean, competition existed, but, like, no one cared about the other ones. Uh, and then, Sega was just like, hey, actually, Nintendo sucks. And then... And then, like... Uh, Super Nintendo still did better than the Genesis, like, sales-wise. But, like, it made enough of an impact to the point where it's, like... The point where it's just like, hey, Nintendo's not invincible. Which is good for everyone. Competition's good. Monopolies are bad. Uh... And it's kind of weird because, like, that one... Uh, the only time that they were, like, super successful in, like, the console business, uh, Sega, uh, was during the Genesis when they had, like, stupidly aggressive marketing. And then after that, they just didn't care. Uh, to burp a little. Uh, because, like, after... Oh, boy. Drowning music. No. There. Uh, because after the Genesis era, uh, they just said, hey, let's not do good marketing. <laughs> because, like, the Sega Saturn, uh, at least in the US, I think it just had a surprise release, which for a console is awful. Because, like, stores w weren't in on the secret, so, like, some just straight up didn't even carry Sega Saturns. They just refused to carry them. And then, like, I think it... I don't remember how many games it launched with, but, like, barely any, because no one knew it was coming out. And, like, Sega Saturn didn't really have very many good games, either. Uh, there was, like... There was, like, Panzer Dragoon, uh, uh, Nice Thing in the Dreams, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, which is, like, an RPG, which is a sp also a spin-off of a rail shooter, <laughs> so that's kind of weird, but apparently Dr Saga is, like, really good, but, like, it never got ported to anything else, so it might as well not exist. Uh, there was also another Shining Force game. Uh, but yeah, most of S Saturn's good games were also on PlayStation, so. Uh, Saturn wasn't a great console. Like, I wouldn't say, like, an awful one. Like, I don't actually have one, so I probably shouldn't even say if it's good or not, but. I mean, had a few decent games. Uh, but the main thing was that it didn't have a new Sonic game. So... 
people just kind of didn't care. <laughs> because, like, you bought a Genesis, like, you had Sonic 2. Like, that is, that's just a fact. Like, if you didn't have, if you had a Genesis and you didn't have Sonic 2 or, like, Sonic 3 or something, it's like, why do you have one? <laughs> uh, but there was no Sonic, new Sonic game on Saturn. At least not a 3D one. There was, like, Sonic R, but that was it. It was, like, a racing game that's kind of weird from what I hear. Uh, uh, there was so I think it was called Sonic Jam. There was, like, a collection of, like, all three, all the classic Sonic games on Genesis. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that was the only Sonic game worth playing on, Ge on Saturn. A collection of the Genesis games. Uh, Mega Man 8 had exclusive content on Saturn. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. As far as I know. Like, maybe, maybe there's, like, some, like, really big hidden gem that I know nothing about. But, yeah. Uh, and then the Dreamcast, they were just like, okay. How about we just have, like, stupidly good games, but also bad marketing? And also, we're gonna end it in, like, three years. Oh, yeah, and there was, like, a, that was, like, another big thing with the Saturn. Uh, the 32X came out, like, very shortly before the Saturn. So it's just like, wait, do we develop for 32X, or do we develop for Saturn? And then developers were confused. And it's like, oh, we don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, they just went to PlayStation. <laughs> it's like, this is easier. And it, and PlayStation is also selling ridiculous amounts of units, so that's where the money is. We're just gonna do that, okay? Thanks. And then with the Dreamcast, they're, they're like, uh, stupidly good games. Uh, not a whole lot of marketing. But, like, the games are good enough to where, like, the marketing... Well, like, that pretty much was the marketing. Uh, and then, like, it got discontinued in, like, three years. Uh, because the PS2 came out. And then everyone was playing PS2. And then they stopped caring about Dreamcast, which was, like, a lot weaker than PS2. Uh, because, like, Dreamcast was, like, the most powerful console when it released. Uh, but then other consoles were released, and then it wasn't. Like, it wasn't even anywhere close to the other ones. Although, like, Dreamcast had a lot of good games. Uh, and, like, it was, like, stupidly ahead of its time, too. Uh, like, it had internet connectivity, and, like... Uh, the memory cards worked. It had, like, these little, like, LCD screens on them, and, like, you could play mini-games on them with certain games. Uh, well, like with Sonic Adventure, you could, like, do, like, a mini Chow Garden. It was kind of cool. Uh, and, like, the VMU, uh, it's, that's what it was called. Uh, it apparently had modding support in the 90s. Well, like, late 90s, but still. So, like, you can just make your own custom games for it. For free. And it's like, What? <laughs> Uh, but, on the bright side, like, all the good Dreamcast games actually got ported to other systems. <laughs> and then, Sonic, ironically, did extremely well on Nintendo systems. <laughs> it's like, hey, save saving again. Because it's just like, hey, Nintendo, remember how we were dicks to you during the Genesis days? Uh, let's be, let's be friends now. They're just like, alright. And then they put Sonic Adventure 2 on GameCube. And like, for like a 90s kid, like a 90s Sega kid, that would have been like, 
what timeline is this? <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like playing Crash Bandicoot on Xbox. Well, on Switch, actually. Like, I mean, yeah, like, it's a good thing that it's on more systems, but, like... Why does this exist? This is cursed. <laughs> uh, like, same with Spyro. Like, my sister has the... has Spyro on Switch, and I'm just like, no. This is wrong. Like, it's cool and all, but it's wrong. Like, I have the PS4 version as God intended. And that's the version that I pl that I will play. Oh yeah, I have to, like, jump over this. And, like, I don't know, uh, Sega's relationship with console making is weird. Uh, because, like, they had, like, run one extremely good attempt, and then they just kind of gave up. For seemingly no reason. They don't like money, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> uh, except for the Dreamcast, they just went third party, and it's like, whatever. We'll just make stuff for Nintendo now. This isn't weird or anything. Uh, cause... I don't know, I want to say that it was... Like, a really bad thing when they left, but like... I don't know, there was enough competition to where, like, it wasn't really a big deal. Like, before Xbox was around, it was like, eh. I mean, there was only two, eh. But then Xbox was just like, yo, we're Microsoft, here's an Xbox. And people were just like, why, why should we care about this? Halo. Yeah, you're right. We like this. And, like, the Xbox was basically just Dreamcast 2 with Halo. Oh my god, I need f I only needed four more. You know what, think about it, like, OG, like, OG Xbox, if you didn't have Halo, it's just like, why do you have an Xbox? <laughs> I like that was kind of similar with, like, 360 as well, but, like, at least 360 had, like, way better through party support. And, like, a lot of the through the party stuff, like, just ran better than on PS3. 99% of the time. There was like one or two where it's like there were... Like there were f one or two, I'm sure, that were like better on PS3 somehow. Uh, like Portal 2 came with a coupon for the Steam version, and also you can tr you can play with PC players on PS3, but not on 360 for some reason. So that was cool. Speaking of which, that video is done. Uh, going up tomorrow. But like, PS3, dude. Oh my god, just barely. Uh, like it was really awful to develop for because the processor was really weird. Oh, like, it was stupidly powerful when you knew what you were doing, but most third-party developers were just like. We don't want to figure this out. And they just made games for 360 instead because it was easier. No. <laughs> Why? You know, uh, at least Xbox is still around. 
Like, despite Xbox One weirdly not doing that well. Like, Switch has been, uh, been around for like half the time and it's already outsold Xbox One, which is both impressive and sad at the same time. Let's just say impressively sad. Because I think Xbox One is popular in the US and like nowhere else. <laughs> like, I mean, it's a decent console, but like... Then he realized that all their exclusives, except for Rare Replay, came to PC. And it's like, I have a PC, why do I have- why should I use a next? Why do I need an Xbox One? Just put Rare Replay on this thing, and like, literally no reason to buy it. Like, we already got Halo. Oh my god. Uh, and also Halo, pretty good. Playing Halo 2, pretty good game. On PC, it is on PC. Like, it, it was on PC, but like, the anniversary version is on PC. And like, it's a really good, like, convert, it's like a really good remaster. Uh, I didn't like Halo 1 anniversary's graphics, just because, I don't know, it's not very faithful and it looks I don't know, like, like it's a lot more cluttery. Okay, I'm gonna give this like one more attempt. Like, I don't know, like the style is a lot more cluttery, as opposed to how clean and simple the original looks. And uh, one thing that's amazing about Halo Anniversary games is that, like, you can just press a button and switch between, uh, the original or remastered graphics, and it's like... And it's like all... <laughs> like, all remakes and remasters should have this. This is amazing. Oh yeah, maybe not to, like, the extent Halo does. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Like, I mean, not, maybe not to the extent that Halo does, but at least, like, in the options menu, on the main menu. Just like, you want to play with the original graphics or the new ones. I think this boss is easy. Uh, assuming I actually hit him. Oh. Okay, I thought I died there. Because, like, I wasn't in, the, in a ball, therefore you can't hit him. Uh, because, like, if you jump into enemies, uh, it doesn't count unless you're in a ball. And it's dumb. Like, I mean, it kinda makes sense. But, like... Come on. It, 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 like, it, it's also... Like, you're in a ball by default, so it's more like you have to actually jump on them and not, like, fall on them. Uh, but, like, in that specific instance, it would have been dumb. Uh, but we beat him. That was the boss. We. I forget how many zones Sonic 2 has. I just know that I'm a- that at this point we're pretty decent- pretty decent way into the game. Game over. I haven't continued the- what? That- that was- what? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I'm assuming the people testing this 
uh, testing the Steam version just didn't die. <laughs> That's so weird. Or like, they did see it, but then they just didn't care. That's like, whatever. No one's gonna die. This game's easy. <laughs> Uh, it's so like, it's not a big deal anyway. I like it was, at least with the Steam version, like, uh, if you don't like the emulator that Sega made, you can just take the ROM, put in another emulator. Which is amazing. Like, they just give you, like, the ROM straight up. There was a file just called Uncompressed ROMs in the files. And, like, the game files of the Sega Genesis Classics, Wh whatever this collection is called. It's like the p same as the PS4 and Xbox One, one, and also Switch. But also the PC version has more games, so that's cool. Like, they don't try to hide it from you, you're just like, hey, you bought it, here's the ROMs. You already paid for it, we don't care. <laughs> At least you got it from us. And I don't know, honestly, I'd rather use, like, official ROMs that Sega probably got themselves. What? I- can you let me through? There we go. Like, at the very least, like, I don't know, these could have been, like, the original ones that they just had lying around. Uh, although, uh, today I might only go to, like, the hour and a half mark or so, uh, stream-wise. I don't know, I'm just kind of tired. Uh, because, uh, like, I was making these subtitles for the Portal 2 review. Uh, because, like, I get that my voice is, like, kind of hard to understand sometimes, so... Just like, you know what, uh, I'll just make subtitles. Uh, uh, the subtitle maker in YouTube is very annoying. Uh, because, like, it does do a decent, a decent chunk of the work for you because, like, the auto-generated stuff, which is, like, like, it's kind of good at, like, figuring out what you're saying, but, uh, I don't know, it's still enough to wear, like, it doesn't compare to actually to actual handmade subtitles, you know. Like, uh, God, I don't remember what it was. Uh, okay. Uh, in the review, I say ominous and foreboding, and then YouTube registered that as fruit bowling. Yes, that is the same word. Th good job, YouTube. And also, like, the uh, editor sucks and doesn't have a dork mode. So you just have to stare at, like, the white YouTube screen while you do all this stuff. Uh, but luckily there is one option to where, like, you just upload, like... Uh, where you upload, like... I don't know, I guess a text file with, like... All the... What these subtitles are supposed to say, and then I, like... Automatically try and, like, fit it... Fit them for you. I don't know, I might try that. Uh, cause that was just, like, manually, like, editing. Uh, the, like, auto-generated subtitles. And, like... Well, like, hour and a half later... Uh... 
I'm only like a fourth way through the video. So, that's cool. Uh, and also, I lost power in the when doing this, and because it does an autosave, uh, I lost like a good 45 minutes of actually doing this, so that was irritating. And I'm dead. I uh, know, so at some point, <laughs> uh, the stream just lagged a ton somehow. I didn't notice it. <laughs> It's pr I hope it's fine. Like, this is just like a casual stream, I'm not gonna make a video out of it or anything, so... Uh, cur not currently recording it. So, uh... I- I'm sorry. Frame drops. Oh, that, that was a checkpoint back there. That's, that's fine. Ah, uh, so yeah, I, I, I wanna... Add subtitles to videos? That'd be helpful. Mm. Excuse me. And like, a lot of people just don't do subtitles on YouTube, which is... I don't know, like, I get it, because the editor sucks. <laughs> but like... I don't know, at the same time, I kind of feel bad for like... People with like, hearing impairment, because like... Ah, uh, YouTube is useless to them now. So there's like all this like information and entertainment, but it's like no, no one uses the subtitles, therefore it's not very useful to me, which is like really sad. Oh, uh, there's like some place in this, in here that you can like soft lock, like. Oh yeah, right here. <laughs> like, look at how easy. Like, look at how easy it is to just fall in there. Uh, basically, if you're supersonic, you have to wait until supersonic is done, and then you die. On uh, the mobile version, uh, if you actually fall into that pit that's the soft lock, uh, uh, you actually go into a zone that was cut from like the original game. Uh, uh, Christian Whitehead and the like the people who made the mobile port, uh, they actually put it back in. <laughs> they like finished it and put it back into the game. There was like one zone. There was like one zone that was cut from Sonic 2, they're just like, nah man, we'll just put it back in. I, I did it two times in a row. Cool. Alright. Alright, where's the level code? <laughs> Sonic 2. Level code. God, how is this? How is this music official? Like, seriously, this sounds like a Siva Gunner rip. Why? What? I, I don't know. There's just something. Off about it. Like the song's just some kind of inside joke or something.
Alright. This isn't the options. <laughs> Go in the options menu, you just enter chemical plant zone. I hate it when that happens. Alright, so... Oh, this is annoying. You have to basically go into the sound into the sound and like input the right numbers. And I hit the wrong button. You have to hit you have to hit A apparently. Like that's so cryptic. Like in the original, at least there was like a button combination where like you could eventually figure out if you wanted to. But like here it's just like why, and like you have to keep hitting the button, and you have to go all the way from like nineteen to sixty-five. To nine. It's probably easier if I just. Yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, got a game over. <laughs> so, level select code. Oh, and uh, even after you do the code, you have to. Uh, still hold the A button and then hit start. And it didn't even work. Cool. Ah. <laughs> uh, I did everything you said. <laughs> you freaking level select code thing. Cool. Uh, Sonic 2 is really good, but, like, it's not my favorite or anything. Like, god, this level select code is so dumb. Uh, my favorite Sonic game is Colors. Uh, with Generations being second favorite and then Mania being third. Nineteen sixty five. Screwed up the code, didn't I? Because I played it twice. Cool. Uh, like, I, I miss the days when it was just push, do a button combination on the title screen. Colors is very good. Play it. Sonic does not su Sonic doesn't suck past the classic games, I swear. Oh nine. Did I pass seventeen? I did. And press Stolt to return the to return to the title screen. Select one player. Hold A. Press Start. It didn't work. Still, what? Unless they changed it to be the... Uh, unless they changed it to be the... Uh, a lock-on method for some reason. Uh, because, like, if you locked on to Sonic and Knuckles with Sonic 2, it's a different... 
cold for some reason. That's... I mean, I don't mind that they changed it, but like... Up, up. Down, down. No, I screwed up. Stop. I'm, tr I'm trying to put in the level select code. <laughs> up, up, up. Down, down, down. Left, right, left, right. And you have- Oh my god, and you have to do it quickly, or else the demo comes up. Are you kidding me? Uh, unfortunately, it's not the Konami code. Honestly, I kind of wish it was. <laughs> that would have been funny even this far back. Wait. Nope, did it right. You gotta hold it, but you gotta hold A. Before you hit start. Save data is amazing. <laughs> I love save data. <laughs> and but, 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 I uh. what? Hold on, I'm looking at a different website then. Alright, IGN, hopefully you're more reliable. There's a green Sonic glitch, apparently. Level select. Okay. Uh, so I gotta hold, press C. <laughs> I don't remember what button is C. Uh, C is B, which on mine is circle, so... Apparently that's what I was doing wrong. You don't press start from the sound select, you press C. God. This is so dumb. I don't even remember- uh, How long has this been taking? I think it's been at least 8, 10 minutes. <laughs> I press C. Oh my- Oh my- Okay, okay. I, I think you have to- I think you have to press C to- do the last input or something? I don't know anymore. Or like maybe you have to hold A and press start when they're before the menu comes up. I don't know anymore. <laughs> this shouldn't be this complicated.
And, like, you can't even, like, hold down the button. Like, you have to, like, keep pressing it. That's the worst part about this. Like, the right D-pad button is already being used a bunch for a game like this. But then you gotta just press it a bunch for this. Why? Why is this not working? Did they remove it for some re- Like, I doubt that they would. Well, like, maybe you have to hold down A after you hit start. I don't... What? Like, I'm hewing the ring that says that you're doing it right. But then it doesn't. <laughs> what? Yeah, that is definitely a nine. Yes, the... Yeah, the... Ring noises work, I forgot to... I didn't... I forgot to hold down A. <laughs> I... No, no, I can't. I, I can't make the ring noise with my mouth. Honestly, I can barely talk with my mouth. I don't even need to look at the numbers anymore. I just know. 1965917. Yeah, no, definitely can't do it.
boy. What? Okay, is it different for the Steam version? Like, there's no way it's different. I've been at this for, like, 15 minutes at this point. What? Oh. Apparently there's some weird thing to do for Sonic 3 in that game for the level select, but... Yeah, apparently someone else is having this issue. That's neat. Okay, okay. Hold on. There, there is no way, because, what? A apparently this dude, like, it didn't work for him, and then he put in an Xbox One controller, and then it did. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? Uh. Okay, what do I have as a? I've been doing this for 20 minutes because I had A mapped to square because of Gun Story Heroes. Oh my god. Five, nine, This should not have worked. I... Okay. I've only been streaming for like an hour. I don't care. I'm finishing this level, and then I'm just finishing this game on Monday. I don't care. A 
it's like the halfway point. <laughs> Whatever. I made it out of level select hell. Look, man. I've had an off day. I was in YouTube subtitle hell. I lost power during YouTube subtitle hell. I uh, I'm I'm tired. I don't care. <laughs> After this level, I'm done. This is what Sonic does to you, okay? <laughs> and it's annoying because this is a good game. I I did it. I Why is this here? Why is this stupid pit here? I, I hate this dumb pit. That's like the third time I've died there. You know, I think I just don't like Mr. Cave Zone. I hate this place. Why? I like the music isn't even that good either. Oh, thank you, Tails. You were you were a hero. I don't know. I've run out of things to say. <laughs> no. That didn't happen. No, Tails, don't leave. Alright, just, just let, just let me kill you so I can get on with my day, please. Thank you. Show's over. Uh, I'm done today. Bye. <laughs> I'll finish this on Monday. <laughs>